Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Regarding the Holy Quran, the misconception I'd like to bring into discussion today relates to the blessings of reading Surah Nuh. Now, this is a, there is a narrative which is found in Al-Wasit and a similar one which is found in Salavi's Tafsir. However, both have different chains of narration, but both of them are reported by Ubayy ibn Kaab from the Prophet Muhammad Now, as far as Al-Wasit's text is concerned, uh, it goes like this. مَنْ قَرَى سُورَةُ النُّوْهُ كَانَ مِلْ مُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ تُدْرِكُهُمْ دَعْوَةُ النُّوْهُ عليه السلام. A simple translation of this narrative would be that a person who recites Surah Nuh, he will be regarded among the believers who were the recipients of uh, the Prophet Noah's supplication. And of course the reference is a supplication which is found at the end of Surah Nuh in, in the Quran and which of course uh, the words of, surah, of, those, of that supplication are in which the, all, uh, the Prophet Noah has prayed to the Almighty that the Almighty should forgive him and uh, his parents and all uh, believing men and women who enter his house. So this is what he had prayed for. So this narrative says that uh, this, a person who recites Surah Nu, he would be the recipient of, of this, the, this uh, the supplication of uh, uh, the Prophet Noha, وسلم, which is uh, rec recorded, of course, in the Quran. Now, as far as this uh, text is concerned, which is found in uh, Wasit, it is extremely weak. In fact, uh, Hafiz ibn Hajar has regarded to be concocted because of the presence of uh, Harun ibn Kasir and Salam ibn Sulaim al Madaini. As far as Harun ibn Kasir is concerned, he is regarded to be uh, majhul by Abu Hatim. And as far as Salam ibn Sulaim al Madaini is concerned, Hafiz Mizzi has the following comments to rega record about him uh, from various Rajal authorities. Yahya ibn Ma'in says, Laysa bishai. And another opinion which he says about him is, Zaifun la yuktabu hadithuhu. And Muhammad bin Abdullah bin al Ammar al Musli says, Laysa bi hujja. And Ibrahim bin Yaqub al-Juzjani says, غَيْرُ السِّقَى Abu Zura and Abu Hatim regard him to be Zarif. And Imam Bukhari, Imam Nasai, and Abdul Rahman bin Yusuf bin Kharash say that he is matruk, which has been abandoned. Another opinion uh, of Imam Nasai is, لَيْسَ بِسِقَى وَلَا يُكْتَبُ حَدِيثُهُ And Abu Qasim al-Bughbi says, Zarif al-Hadith jiddan. And another opinion of Abdul Rahman bin Yusuf bin Kharash is, uh, about him is, uh, Qazza, that he's a great liar. Now, as far as the text of this uh, narrative is concerned, which is found in Salafi's tafsir, it too is weak because of the presence of a person called Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Sada, who is majhul about whom we have nothing, uh, no information about him at all. And similarly, because of the presence of Asim bin Bahdala, who is uh, regarded by Rajal authorities to have an extremely weak memory, and, uh, and in any narrative which is which does not, uh, uh, which has Hasim ibn Badla and which cannot be corroborated by any other uh, chain of narration than that narrative too, of course, cannot be relied upon. So here, another weakness of this narrative is the existence of Hasim ibn Badla and of course, it has no other corroboration, any sound corroboration from any other narrative. And plus also, as I said earlier on, that we have the person of Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Saad about, we have, uh, about whom we have no information. So on the basis of these details, this narrative found in Salavi's Tafsir too, cannot be uh, correctly or properly ascribed to the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. So all in all, both these narratives stand rejected and they, for the fact that they cannot be uh, regarded to be the words of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam or any correct description to him. So the correct way in reaping the blessings of reading Surah Nu or in, indeed in any other Surah of the Quran is to have a living relationship with that Surah by understanding with a good a translation by acting upon its message, by communicating its message to others, and by rejecting and disregarding all such narratives which are absolutely weak and which, uh, whose description to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu cannot be established. Akulu kawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisaril muslimina wal muslimat.